Okay, I'm gonna cut a bunch of windings here, stators, with copper, since the prices are so good, and I got a really good tool now. So I put a bucket here to catch at least whatever falls. problems here. So the other one is not that good, but hey, what do you do? I just wonder if I'm gonna cut this side here where just over here because there's more reinforced more tape on this side and this less here maybe might make a difference. Still, still beats using the uh, grinder. Grinder blades cost money, right? They just don't cost too much. Copper, copper should be short, or soft enough. I think. Lots oh, of heavy mortar that one. Small ones cut pretty nice, pretty fast. here if I had a little bit longer blade probably better but well, that one's not too good 
Leave that one for now. Take a grinder on that one or something. This is a, like a similar mortar. Might be the same problem. Yeah, this will fall apart. The odd one, like you know, is like that, right? That's the same same kind of mortar. It's just uh, not a lot, a lot of wrap here. The small wrap, but anyways. Okay, let's uh, try the uh, copper extractor two thousand. But also because I got two claws going right, might be a little harder to harder to move it. This one's a tough one. I'll try the smaller one just because some of them are tough. It did go a little bit, but. Toughest one I had so far. Lots of mortars. Oh, it's hard to believe. Hmm, not really moving. Yeah, that's a really, really tough one. It's rusty too. design Too much at a time. Here's a little less. See it so hard. The 
mostly out, but Very hard that one. I've got a hard, hard bunch here. This way it's a little better. It's not, it's not getting the grip. Grip, if you know what I mean. The tool definitely works, it's just uh, I'll try to this tool again. This the last one was tough. I think the square ones will work better than, than the round ones. This one's a really big one here. See how this goes. Once I know the bench is in the right position, I can screw down to concrete. Right now, or I should actually put a brace onto that. The big mortar came out no problem. Try some of this one here. pair of pliers I can hold on to it and smash it out. Something. 
Här så tar vi staffa tror jag. It's like you know, every mortar is different, right? Some are easy, some are gonna be harder. You know, so I'll have to figure it out. See, once it starts to go, it wants to go. Breaks the glue breaks or something, right? Seem to find a hole in that one. It's amazing how how much it holds still. smaller little punches that's a problem maybe something like this might work Most of it's out. It's really coarse material and stuff. Holy. Even like this, it's almost out. It doesn't want to come out. Oh. <sighs> 
It's just they're generally out. It's just the odd one that doesn't want to come. Disappointing, but got it out. That was a tough one for sure. Like I have lots, of, I can do lots of torque, right? No problem. Like I have the strength to do it, but well, it's pretty heavy. I'll clean this up here and then keep moving on. Okay, these ones don't cut. Some cut, some don't. I don't understand why. No reason why they're all the same. Like even if the more looks identical, no matter what side of the wrap, still doesn't want to. Um, some, some are tough. Once it once it starts, it goes. But can't make it too tight, otherwise it tightens up the thing. Come on! I'm going to some some grip. The hammer keeps falling. One claw works pretty good too. Small mortars. It's disintegrating. The whole thing is falling apart. Could be something to do with the uh, rusty. You know, some are really rusty. Start disintegrating. That's a real cheap one. This one's got a little more play, a little meat on, meat on the bone. This one, like the way my saw was tearing, I could see it's all, all looped in there still. See this? Two of them may, may not have separated. A couple windings, you know what I'm saying? Somewhat separated, but not completely.
probably not a good cut, that's why. See here. I'm gonna cut that grease, that's a problem. It's not cut proper. I'm gonna actually um get a cut off saw, which I have one. Then I can cut a smooth one and cut it perfectly otherwise. I don't personally think it was cut properly. That's why it's being such a pain. Seems to fly probably this way because there's too much over overhang. I saw the red dirt thing and holy smokes, might be aluminum. I mean my tool's not perfect, but it gives some opportunity for people. See that look at that one. To strip something without having a big machinery. After all, you learn tricks of the trade. So, I guess obviously, if I go this way, you can get, get it out pretty good. Well, it's looking promising. See how this is crunching? It's just so cheap. These are beef, beefier mortars. I'm gonna try that one motion again. Yeah, it's a little too thick. Wait for copper. See, some mortars don't, uh, they don't uh, bend. The solid steel. Maybe it's the gauge of steel. Yeah, nice. Oh, come on. 
separating Sometimes it's fall apart. The game just steals really, really flimsy. There it is. Okay, well, we're all done. Piece little bucket of copper here and here. Okay, I cleaned the copper a little bit. Some of it uh, was hard to clean, but. Uh, so 18.9 total, pails one and a half, we'll just say 19, so 17.5, 17.5 pounds, wasn't even that many mortars, just a few mortars really to be honest, a little bit here. Here. Okay. 25.7. Wow. So twenty four pounds there. Already like that, 24 pounds. Okay, well, I'll probably take this one, this pail home with me. I'm not gonna leave it. So that's pretty good. Shows you that was up fast. Yeah, I'm gonna get a, I have a saw, but it's, it's a smaller one. I think it's a six inch blade, I think. And I just like, just kind of like that would be better. And the saw is also okay on some, but some of, I don't know why. Not sure, maybe the, the wire is really fine. I think that's the problem. It's, it's, this one's pretty coarse too. I just don't know. Some wire does it just falls apart. Some wire is perfect. It's hit and miss. You don't know which one, so it's hit and miss. Okay. Okay, that was the light I found today at the ball depot. cast here actually Uh, for some reason it wasn't uh, coming out at the bang 
thing to clean off here. Okay. So that's clean here. Nice. Clean cast. And then we have these sockets here. It's aluminum, so I'm not gonna bother. Not worth it. Who's um, brass, maybe? It's mostly plastic. Let's cast. So one beer copper one here. Copper. Put them back in the copper bucket. Yeah, too bad the prices are dropping. I've locked, you know, I still have at least a couple hundred pounds of stainless steel. So, prices dropped, so. Too bad. Okay, so that's clean. That's old sheet. Here. Now we need a little bucket for aluminum. Okay. okay it's called AutoCat 9000. We took off the, about eight screws off the back. Oh, nice chips in there. Let's get the screws off here. Oh, three screws. Not sure what it's for, but I'm just concerned about e-waste. It's any good for e-waste? Gold recovery or something? Good, Pretty decent boards. Well, it's a TV screen display, but it's got all one, two, three, four, five, five, five chips. The other one, I'm not sure about that chip. Hmm. Cut these. 
this stuff is from that pickup I did, and they tried selling it, but or or some things have to be destroyed. That's one thing. So, not sure there's a 100% story on it, but might be something that's decommissioned. Outdated plastic. It's a power board. So it looks like a pretty good board. Little chunk of aluminum. Got risers on here. Are they brass riders, risers? Let's see. I think they'd be brass, if anything. No. Let's see the brass. Look like brass just scratched a bit. See, most of this is plastic. The front and the bottom was plastic. The reason why it's luminous is probably because there's a little heat exchange and a little bit of shield. Maybe shielding, possibly somewhat. Hard to say. Also, a big screw there. Uh, it doesn't stick much. Better on the side. Well, these are uh, steel. I don't know why they do that. They mix metals. You gotta throw the brass right away. I don't think they make them stainless steel, but I'm not sure. That's the board there. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, both sixteen. Bigger ICs and the rest are a little smaller. Hmm, it's not a bad looking board. This board came out there too with a screen. I don't particularly need a screen. I saw a lot of gold, gold plating around. I saw this everywhere. Hmm. It's weird. Okay, so this one got those little spacers I was telling you about. So that's why I say this is pretty good to have. Lock them, up, lock them down. Flathead here. Let's take it off in a second. Let's just take a better look at this before my battery goes. Battery could die any second. These are probably steel risers. Yep. Yeah. We'll throw them in the HMS. Pretty heavy. A little bit of aluminum here. That one, I drove around street scrap and couldn't find really nothing. It's a kind of waste of time. So I said, you know, 
Might as well take some apart. There's nothing. I think the price is so high that the local scrappers are getting everything. Maybe a mortar or something. they put brass inside here how do you, you can't recover it easily you get the brass here right here that's your brass here I think it's brass it's brass I don't know I can't recover it easily you can snip them off but I don't know I'll be there forever it's gear there's a fan here. So all the fans, like I say, I'm going to just chop them off. Eventually I'm going to be able to uh, shred them in a way where they, I can do something with them. A little bit of copper. Right now, this is basically worth shred value. So I'll just throw them in these buckets here. I'm going to have a machine to do something to try to recover the copper in them. That's a mortar too. That's a good little machine actually for a piece of plastic. I think I have a two or, I thought I had two or three of those. Even these ones I'll throw in that bucket down the road might have proper stuff stainless steel shaft so stainless steel new pile Brass here, brass. I think this is stainless steel. It's too heavy the material. It's not not light. It's very heavy. I don't know why they have to do that. Everything else is stainless except this insert they stick in here. It's a hard one to get out. out from in this way yep.
I can always get my little punch. Okay, stainless. This is gonna go to H and F. Use a little that's a mortar, plastic. That's I think it's a gear, gearbox. It's a gearbox. And then we got uh, this thing here. Take some flat screwdriver. I think that's probably it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. A um, little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know that uh, hammer I made works really good. So if you ever want to make one, just get yourself a heavy-duty hammer like this. Cut a couple notches. Even uh, if you have a rock hammer with a single notch, works too right I find this works pretty good and this works too but well, this was the first one this is my second one so but um, with these type of hammers if you cut it too long it may weaken it so just kind of cut just what you need maybe okay guys thanks for watching have a great day all the best